Okay, you two, we back in. Say hello, Kathy. What's up? Wash it out, Kathy. So Cassidy and I are making what are we making? Philly cheesecake. Yep. We're cutting red peppers, orange Sweet peppers, peppers, yellow peppers. Oh wait, we got we got green peppers and onions somewhere. Hey guys. Okay, here I am. I'm not too far away. So yeah, we cutting our peppers up. Somebody had asked me to do a cooking tutorial, and as I said, guys. I'm not the best cook, but I do a little something something every now and again. Enough for us to eat. Cassie, okay, so what you think about my cooking? Whoop! I don't know what that meant. She made a face at me, y'all. I really don't know what that face meant. And I try and slice the peppers. I don't see if y'all can know if y'all can see the depth of them, but I try and slice them as thin as possible. Possible? Yes, possible. And one, actually, one of my favorite things to cook is Philly cheesesteaks. Just because I'm, I like Philly cheesesteaks, especially when they're done right. Because um, I don't know too many people that make them the correct way. You gotta cut the top off. I know that, but uh, yeah, I love me some good old Philly. Try not to make the video too long, cause. My phone is only on like 3%. Not a good thing. You should make a TV show about your craziness. <laughs> Cassidy said I need a reality TV show because I'm crazy. She means animated. I can be. That's what she means, right? You mean I can be animated? Let me not answer that. Oop. Y'all, she trying me. Somebody let her not answer that. First of all, little girl. Nah, I'm playing. I'm joking. I guess we all have a perception of our parents, and I think my 10-year-old self concerning my parents probably could have been the same. Because, oh, y'all, when I say my daddy was a character, God rest his soul, my daddy was an absolute character. My friends used to be scared to come over my house. Your daddy is crazy. Here, rinse the peppers. So, basically, I cut them in half. And then, yep. I don't think they can see this, but. Yeah, they can. And then I go in and I cut the middle out. I wash the seeds. Fill some seeds. Catherine is working hard to wash the seeds out. Can I keep some of the seeds? And then we slice it into smaller pieces. The texture and that's actually so how we get our skisty, skisty, skinsty slices. Because the peppers are good and they really honestly give a lot of flavor to the meat, which is why I use all the different peppers. Some of them are more sweeter than others. I don't know if you guys really like peppers, but this is what we're going with today. I forget who it was. Somebody had asked me actually to do, and let me fix this camera a little bit more. Somebody had actually asked me to do, uh oh, I'm jacking the camera up, a cooking tutorial, and you know, that's why we're cooking. Okay, guys, there we go. That's why we're cooking. Somebody asked me to do it. Um, we use Creole seasoning. And I mean, you can season your meat with whatever kind of meat you want. And we use uh, some black pepper. But like I said, you can use whatever kind of seasoning you want for your meat. That's just the seasoning I like to use. And I cheated a little bit with the meat. Um, I got some ribeye heritage from the store. It was already sliced. So that worked out really good. It was very thinly sliced. So that's why it worked out so well, so very well. So yeah, I'm still cutting my peppers. Like I said, making sure they are very thinly sliced. And some of them, like the insides with this, that still has the white in them, I simply just go across it. Hold on one second, guys. Cause I don't wanna cut myself cause I ain't that great of a cook. I'm still learning, so if you guys have some tips that you can share with me about how you make your Philly cheesesteaks or, you know, just the way you do your meal preps in general, please feel free to share them. Because as always, I'm open for, to suggestions and learning new things. This knife really sharp, y'all, so if I get quiet for a minute, it's because I'm trying not to cut my fingers off because I need all my fingers. Come on. 
you can get them and put them on a plate. Cassidy slide one of them plastic plates because they know they best not go in my cabinet and use no plates, especially because they don't like to wash no dishes. I wash the dishes. Sure, bye. She put the dishes in a dishwasher, y'all, every now and then. And I'm sure some of you guys, oh, God, my shirt is really sorry. I'm sure some of you guys um, have children that are of age that are learning to do chores. Cassidy actually should have been washing dishes because Cassidy's 10. Cassidy, what you say? I didn't say anything. Okay. Yeah, so she's 10. She actually should have been washing some dishes and hitting the broom at the floor, mopping and stuff. Hey, Carson and Reagan. Go tell Carson and Reagan to go sit down. Now. Sorry, y'all. Cassidy is my regulator. She has to reinforce some things. Get the other children together. We almost done putting these peppers out. Are you going to wipe up that mess? Yes, I am. She's referring to the juices that are running out. Here you go. Oh, I got it. Never mind. On the uh, counter for the peppers that we're putting. And maybe I guess I could have prepped by cutting these peppers and stuff up before. Here you go. Rinse it out, Mama. But, I mean, and honestly, fill a cheese steak. Maybe take 15, 20 minutes. Um... And that's including like cutting your vegetables, rinsing your vegetables and all those things, um, browning your buns, if, if you like them. Because I like my bun a little bit toasted. We use hoagie bread. Cassie, go give me that hoagie bread off the top of the frigidaire. This one? Yeah. So, yeah, we use hoagie bread. We got it from Food Line. But I mean, I'm sure your local Walmart, because Walmart is a nationwide uh, grocery retailer. So you can go there to get your holy bread. And I like to um, grind my holy bread a little bit, just lightly toast it, just to give it a little bit of crunch, because I like a lot of different textures. Cassidy, Cassidy just had to let y'all see that she was lifting up some yellow peppers to put on the plate. Put my fingers on. Cassidy, I'm not going to cut you. Okay. Give me that green cup over there, Cassidy. Cassidy like, likes to cook, which is why I have her in the kitchen assisting me. India is my singer. That's the oldest one that I um, showed on my video earlier. I don't know if you guys have gotten to see that one. But go check it out if you have not. Cassidy, rinse that off. Go. Cassie likes to cook. India likes to sing. Carson oh. is my more laid back, like a daisical child. Nothing ever seems to phase Carson. Or nonchalant, I should say. Nonchalant is the term that I was looking for, guys. Don't do a vocabulary check on me. Um, Make sure the one is warm. My very nonchalant child. He's really laid back. I think Reagan and Kiesha kind of run neck and neck with that attitude. But she is my more rambunctious child. And AJ, whom you guys have not gotten to meet yet, is uh, my more defiant. And, and I mean, a lot of that is, can you stop so you knock my phone down? Sorry. A lot of that is, she's going through the terrible two phase. She'll be three on August 11th. But she has some of that, leave it. Uh, she like has some of those terrible twos going on there. Which, so we understand those of you who have children, or grandchildren can relay. I hope you can, cause y'all yeah, be praying on a daily basis. She she be making me want to have a few shot on arms in the spirit with the Lord. God be having to touch me throughout the day, cause y'all some days these little children be from hell, and all they different little personalities. I just have to go to my praying closet and call on Jesus. It's power in the name of Jesus, especially when, when y'all be dealing with the babies. I know, well, I know me, I should say y'all, because I don't know, you know, really, how y'all babies are, but it's a constant adjustment and readjustment and readjusting to that readjustment when dealing with these guys, because they are something. I was going to make some sweet potato fries, um, using, stop, using some fresh sweet potatoes, but, um, uh, that's not going to be the case today. Because we're running a little bit behind schedule. It's about 
Eastern Time, because of course we're in North Carolina. The Carolinas, as Reagan says. So, yeah. We're running behind because dinner time for us normally is about 6.45, 7 o'clock. Because bedtime is 8.30. Because this mom will be needing to catch up on her schoolwork. Working on my good old master's degree. And, yeah. Guys, I'm working on getting my master's degree in political science. So, wish me luck. Because a lot of times I'm taking this um, economics class and the theology class together. And I don't know what the world I could have been. I possibly, well, you know what? I was going to say I don't know what I was thinking. Which clearly, I wasn't thinking the fact that I uh, took those classes together. Yes, ma'am. Y'all, the onion not gonna take me that long. I had an onion that I cut up. Uh, you gonna be crying? Yesterday. What did I cook? Why did I need the onion? I can't even think of what I cooked that caused me to use the onion. But um, uh, as as usual, the children weren't too thrilled about having to eat it. Cause I'm thinking about actually, cause I know before I had expressed to you guys when somebody asked me to do the cooking um tutorial see I'm slicing the onions up they can actually stand to be a little bit smaller um and don't worry I know that I got it out of a bag but I'm definitely going to re-rinse all my vegetables um but I think I stated before when I originally agreed to do a cooking tutorial we don't eat a whole lot of meat and I think I said at some point in this video it's late so I'm still you know trying to catch up with the times Video is 11 minutes long. Yeah, it is. Um, but we don't eat a whole lot of meat. So the children sometimes, because they are children and they want to eat what other children eat more often than not, they be less than thrilled about having to have certain meals. But guys, honestly, we are going to do a 30-day raw challenge. And it's where you eat raw fruits and vegetables for 30 days. As a means to detox your body um, and help you begin a healthier journey. So yeah, I'm gonna jump on that bandwagon because I've seen a lot of great results with the 30 day raw challenge. And not just like from a physical perspective, like um, mental clarity. Um, if you know people who have social, emotional, mental health issues, um, which is a very serious thing that plagues our community and that definitely should not be taken lightly. Um, yeah, the 30 day, oh my eyes are burning guys, I don't know if y'all can see it. But the 30 day raw challenge definitely helps us with things like that. Ooh, that onion kind of strong there. Yeah, I'll wash these I guess. Okay, hold on, you gotta make sure you hold them in place. Can we put some of the um, yellow with the green? Ooh, guys, hold on. I'm going oh, to no, it Okay, put that in the bag so it can get thrown away. Let's set it here. Y'all give me a one second intermission. Okay, guys, I'm going to stay on her channel, my channel. Okay. Okay, you done rinsing those? Uh, I didn't get the side of it, Okay, rinse the sides. Get them all really good. Pour the water off. Okay. Well, and then go sit them on the counter on the other side. So we get ready to cook them. Hold on, guys. I got my dish towel here. Because I'm kind of compulsive. Surprise! Random tour effect. My brain is a little bit compulsive. I don't like stuff like on my counter or around the house. So, and I'm close. I don't, I like to work hard and not, I'm sorry, I like to work smart and not hard. Ooh, Jesus, it's frozen. I'm a good as I'm going to just that real quick. Y'all could have told me. But I like to clean as I go because I don't believe in having a lot of unnecessary work by bedtime. Because when it's time for bed, well, at least their bedtime, I typically go to bed a little bit later than they do, especially on days like today. So we've been busy. Hold on one second. Okay. Sorry, guys. 
guys, I had to go check on my babies. One of them was screaming. So I like to keep a bag close by just to dispose of everything in really, really quickly. Um, Cause yeah, I like to make sure that I'm not creating a whole lot of unnecessary stuff. Here you go. Okay. And so we use some virgin olive oil, uh, extra virgin olive oil um, to help us with our um, frying of all our vegetables and things. I want to put some carrots in it, but I like carrots in my filler cheese steaks. A lot of people don't, but I do. Oh, something's on my face right there. Got it. Okay. So, I'm going to put just a little bit of oil into my skillet. And notice, I didn't use a very big um, skillet. Because some of the stuff, and I just put enough oil, I don't know if you guys can see that, just to sear the bottom half of, or to cover the bottom half of the skillet, because I'm just going to sear my vegetables. Do you still need my help? Yeah, if you would like to. Put the vegetables in? Hold on, I've got to get the meat. Uh, Ma, it's starting to dry up real fast. To what? Oil. That's just me. The noise you guys heard is just me opening up the pack for the meat. Getting the meat out. Oh, put the vegetables in with it. Yeah, but we're gonna have to turn the skillet down just a little bit. You can put the vegetables in with it. Get the onions. Yeah. Uh, they have to be different colors at the same time. Get a little bit of orange. Actually, you can take a whole handful of those vegetables and just throw them in. And I like to season them all together, all at once, so I know that everything's seasoned. Cassidy's putting in the vegetables. Uh, I think that was a little too much. That's okay, Karen. I can't see the meat. That's okay. We're going to stir it around. Make it work. Then we're going to need a pot. You don't need a pot. Oh, you could have put fried vegetables. Yep. As you can hear, my grease is sizzling. It's because I got it up a little bit too high. It actually smells really, really good. You turn it down? Thank you, ma'am. No. You know, you don't need to turn it all the way on low, but you need it to cook. I got it fixed. And the goal is to just make sure you're browning everything. For a second, I thought that was just speed What was it? Remember we had filled cheese before. I don't remember. Excuse Ooh. me, I only wash my hands. Cassie, take your time to like just move that around. Don't try to flip it. Just move it around just a little bit. I'm digging in my drawer to pull out some extra utensils here. Let me see. Let me see. And sometimes like the meat, I don't know if y'all can see it, the meat will actually pump together, so you have to go in and like pull it apart. To make sure it stays shredded. To make for a really good feeling cheese steak. Let me go put the old vegetables on back to the meat. See, Cassidy is a good helper in the meat too. And I turned my skillet down because I was cooking things kind of fast. Go let like, India another walk with me. I need like twice. Go tell us, guys, we have a dog. So oh. India has to walk the dog. And the only thing I'm doing is pulling the meat apart a little bit more. Because as I said, I started off cooking the meat a little bit faster than what I normally would have. Let me grab another fork here. Actually, y'all, I might throw me some. Oh, wait a minute, my focus is going out a little bit. There it is. I actually might throw me some carrots in here because I really like carrots. Yeah, I might 
Believe it or not, I'm just kind of round for no reason. I, wait a minute, Cassie. I really, really like vegetables and fresh fruit. No, because I got a quarter meter ball. I'm probably round because I'm not as active as I should be. But that's a different story for a different day. Oh, that's a good idea. Cassie wants us to make a video when we do our uh, Sunday bar. So we do an ice cream bar. And we have everything from popcorn to pretzels to M&M's. Caramel, um, chocolate syrup, um, non dairy, non dairy guys, whipped cream. Um, what else we have? Oh, uh, cherry. Yeah, and uh, Hershey's. Hershey's. Yeah, we have all kinds of candies and stuff, and it's actually really good. Well, that's not shredded. I'm putting it in the car so I can cook some more. Now, can I stop doing it? Hold on, Mommy. What we want is all the juices and stuff to get real, really mixed up in here. Make sure we put in the meat part so the meat can cook evenly and wholly. Yeah, I'll get them closer in one second. They are, they are. Excuse me, please. Yeah, but I want to make sure we're searing them. Hold on, Mama. I'm going to turn this camera around so y'all can kind of see it in the pot a little bit. Hold on one second. Oh, I just thought of, ooh, whatever that glittery. I got glitter on my face of all things. Ask me how that happens. So that's actually what it looks like as it's being cooked. I mean, it looks just kind of like a stir fry. And I don't know how many of y'all actually like stir fry, but I will eat a good. I will eat a stir fry now. If stir fry is good. Hold the spatula. I will definitely, definitely, definitely eat a stir fry. Hold on, guys. I'm getting you even here. I'm actually jacking up the camera too, so hold on one second. 